of the Afghanistan Salvation Movement, which aims to fight poverty and corruption in Afghanistan. And he's also served as the Minister of Finance in the country and has been a key player in the dialogue for peace. And he joins us now live from Kabul. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us here on the program. It's a pleasure having you. Do you think this plan that the UN has outlined will be key to averting a humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan? Certainly. I think we are, um, even though uh, the current economic and humanitarian situation um, is quite bad, but it could have been worse uh, without an active uh, UN intervention um, in appeal for assistance, uh, because as, as a result of it, um, since the um, takeover of Kabul by the Taliban, uh, aid is pouring into Afghanistan. Uh, and it would not have been possible uh, without a very active um, UN's presence in UN's appeal um, with the Western world. What are Afghans expecting from the international community at this point? Well, um, one is relief. Uh, that's immediate. We are in the winter. Um, we we have a cold winter, um, and people are hungry. Um, uh, Afghanistan economy dependent on foreign assistance and, and stop to pour in uh, after um, Kabul collapse uh, to the Taliban. Um, so jobs depended um, on, on that. Millions of jobs or hundreds of thousands of jobs depended on that. Um, economy was um, in a much better state, particularly because uh, there were no sanctions um, on the Afghan banking sector or on the Afghan export and import. Mm -hmm. um, so those were all doing okay.